What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, in this episode of uh, When Things Go Really Bad, <laughs> Aquaman 2. It gets worse, Brian. We'll talk about that in our next episode. But Aquaman 2, Brian, We've seen the writing on the wall ever since it was announced that James, Jason Momoa was writing the treatment. And listen, not to say anything bad about Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa seems like a cool guy. He's, a, he, he's, he's another uh, talented individual. Uh, I can see him do, doing a lot of roles, but the roles that he's been doing is just... Uh, it looks similar to rock moves. And he's doing what he wants, when he wants it, and how he wants. Uh, Brian, your thoughts on <clears throat> where Aquaman 2, because when is that coming out? That's coming out next week, right? That comes out December 21st, or the first, uh, first screen. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's this weekend. Oh my goodness. Brian, are we gonna talk it, some? We're gonna talk some box office. We're gonna talk some story. It's, you know, as it much is as the it, race to the bottom. <laughs> well, we, well, here's the thing. You know, go go back to our show at the fall start of the fall when we talked about the Marvels versus Aquaman in the race for two billion not two movies that made over a billion dollars, which would have the bigger decline. I mean, the Marvels came out and. I threw down a gauntlet. $900 million reduction. We went from $1.1 billion Oof. to $200 million worldwide. Wow. 81% less. But the Aquaman open would indicate this race might be closer <laughs> than we thought. <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about the story and what we've gotten. Some of, Momo has been on the press circuit, so he, he's always a pretty good interview. So you get some information. Yeah. Number one is, you know, we, we had this discussion along the way. How much of Aquaman 2 is him and how much is not? His latest comments would indicate that m a lot of the ideas that he pitched are in this movie. Okay. His quote is, this movie is all me. End quote. <laughs> And then he went on to say, I went in, I gave them ideas, I gave them stuff. And he's like, I'm so thankful they, they used a lot of it. So, folks, when you go see Aquaman 2, it feels like this might be less of a James Wan picture and a little bit more of a Jason Momoa picture. This looks to me, Brian, like, you know what? This movie is so bad. Let's give him all the credit. <laughs> Let's, you want it? Take it. Take it all! That's the only sense I can make of it that they've given him all this credit. This is your, this is you, this is you. And we'll see what you do on that weekend. And meanwhile, all the studios are like Homer into the hedge. They've all, they've all disappeared already. So <laughs> he's looking around, he's like, where'd everybody go? It's just him on the beach. He, it's like all the quotes you're getting from him, nobody else is talking. Everybody, <laughs> I think everybody's just like, no comment. <laughs> well, that's probably and yeah. That's probably what they they probably got to Yaya. And they were like, "Listen, man, we know you're right with the clown work stuff, but just let him, <laughs> just let him be. Just let let him let him have his spotlight." Oh snap! Oh my oh. god, this is gonna be a disaster. And we've been isn't that like? Listen, when the numbers come out, all we're gonna, we're gonna our our smile and laughter is not going to. Go, going to be at the demise of the film, but it's going to be mostly saying that we told you this was going to happen. Yeah. That's all. Uh, yeah, so I'll give you those numbers. So I still think Aquaman is going to beat the Marvels because of the strength of the Asia box office. But what's fascinating to me is the opening 
weekend in the US, which is a holiday weekend. We're talking about a movie opening over Christmas weekend. So when they say opening weekend, they're actually counting four days because Christmas is on a Monday. They're actually saying Aquaman's aiming for $40 million over those four days, which is lower than the Marvel's three day open of 46 million. Is that a record? What, I mean for Christmas? No, like a that's, box office low record. No, just I'm just saying that's a that's Aquaman one opened. Interesting, like it was in the US, it was around 64, 65 million over three days. And then there was China and Asia that did huge numbers. But in the US, people liked what they saw. So the grade was the word of mouth was good. So the US box office kept going into 2024 and it wound up making about 350 US and then 1.1 total but this for it to be down 35 percent from that first film number but also over christmas right so that's an even bigger drop with the word of mouth being as poor as it seems to be i mean i i think it's going to struggle to get to 150 domestic maybe even struggle to get to 100 domestic um if it if the reviews are bad now i do think asia china that's going to be better than what the marvels did i don't think there's any question and so I think that whereas the Marvels ended up with a total box office of about 200 million, I still think Aquaman probably claws its way to more like 300 just because of that international. But I mean, again, relative to the budget, it's going to be a massive loss for the WB, which is, you know, for all of these kind of DC, EU, Snyderverse remnant movies, I mean, they're just taking hundred, they're just taking nine figure hits on all these on the way out. And like, that's the one thing where like the whole Batgirl cancellation just looks worse. Cause you're like, you're standing by these projects and I get it. You had Aquaman made you a lot of money the last time, but it's like, you're losing more money on these than you lost on, on the cancellation of that. Just saying. Um, Brian, I don't think it does, but do you think Jason Momoa is going to be a little bit nervous for his role for Lobo, or he might, he might, rock moves aren't going to work anymore after this. So the other thing Momoa has been pretty open about is his quote about the future of Aquaman is, it's not looking too good. <laughs> He said that in multiple press stops. So what he's basically said is like, well, his his line basically is, well, if everyone comes out of this movie's huge, maybe, but it's not looking too good. <laughs> he knows it's over. Aquaman stunk. Aquaman's tied to the rock and he's not gnawing his gnaw arm off. He's done. Yeah. But I think the fact that there's a lot of smoke around this there's always a home for him at DC. And James Gunn has kind of played along with that. Kind of to me suggests that Jason Momoa isn't using The Rock's playbook inside the studio, right? Like he kind of got the sway he got on Aquaman 2 organically because his first movie did so well. It doesn't sound like he's rocked the boat, pun intended, on, on the rest of his time there. Uh, and so it's the studio still seems to be willing to work with him in a way they clearly were not looking to do any business with Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot and Ezra gotcha. Miller, and, you know, all, all that. So he's been playing ball. It sounds like it. Now, I think if I was Jason Momoa, where I'd be a little more concerned is he anchors, he's the villain in the least successful Fast and Furious movie since Tokyo Drift, a movie that lost. So that's a movie that lost money that... Universal would have told you at the start of the year was a mortal lock to make them money and didn't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now he's going to be headlining a disastrous <laughs> Aquaman 2 six months later. That's what you would be a little more worried about. So to me, for Lobo to work, he is counting on Gunn and whoever is going to be writing that character, I think, to really reinvigorate him as a box office presence because it doesn't look to me like he his name alone is going to be bringing dollars to whatever project Lobo first appears in. It will be, Brian, because of what I think we as moviegoers go to see. Uh, we obviously go to see a film for the action, the story, but we also go see 
these these films for the performances, right? Uh, and his performance for Lobo has to be unique to Lobo and not unique to Jason Momoa. Yep. And that'll be difficult to do because of the character of Lobo. Yeah. And because of how Momoa is. And if people don't, if, I mean, visually, he'll, he will definitely look the part. I'm confident that <clears throat> James Gunn is capable of making any comic book character as comic book accurate as possible. I'm just hope, hoping that it's not too goofy. No, I agree. I, I think what it also suggests to me is that the, the we're a long way from the idea of a Lobo project. Lobo is a supporting character in another project, probably a Superman project. And as Certainly. such, if I was Momoa, I would be begging James Gunn to write that part for me, as opposed to outsourcing that to another writer. Because I do think mm -hmm. James Gunn writing Lobo can work really well. That strikes me as a character he should be able to capture. So if I'm Momoa, I'm begging to be the second or third build character in a Superman-led project that Gunn is right. That would be my strategy, as opposed to being like, I'm, I'm still big man on campus, let's have a Lobo movie. That, I think, is dead on arrival. Yeah, 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 absolutely. As is, no Aquaman, as is Aquaman 2. I mean, they're starting to put the TV commercials out and they're showing the action. I just, I'm st I just haven't seen anything to hook me. Now, I will see it. I will see it, and I'll probably see it twice. But, like, I, I just don't see anything new. It just seems like a rehash, and it seems like a lot of stuff that is looks to me like it's going to be a combination of very campy and just not going to work. Most notably, Patrick Wilson and Jason Momoa, to me, have no chemistry. None. I don't see it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Brian, you got to hook up at the movie theaters? Stop running. You got to hook up at the movie theaters? <laughs> you say you're going to see this movie twice. You got to hook up? <laughs> Well, the thing is around here. So the thing is around here. We have the uh, see. You, you're in New York. You're you're in a really expensive place to go see movies. So out here, we got plenty of theaters where you can get in for under five dollars. Ah, okay. So depending on when you go and where you go, gotcha. What kind of screen you want to see it on? Gotcha. You can see it for next to nothing. So gotcha. I like the strategy. Like you know, it's Oppenheimer. I'm gonna open my wallet. I'm gonna go seventy yeah. millimeter IMAX. This yeah. thing. No, I'll go with I'll go with the theater that doesn't even have reclining seats, no food delivery. I'm good. Four dollars. I'll go I'm in. I, I go to the theater that they showed up on um, the uh Return of Enter the Dragon with Bruce Leroy. I'll go to that theater. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below what you guys are you guys gonna I mean I'm sure you guys are gonna see Aquaman too. Um but if you guys let me just put it out there. John, on the John Campion show, Robert Meyer Burnett, whom I respect quite a bit. I enjoy listening to his commentary. He hasn't been on the show quite a bit, or I probably just, I left John Campion a long time ago. I was just tired of the shenanigans. But he said that he was willing to bet $1,000 that Aquaman 2 would make a billion. <laughs> Another billion. Better than the first. I, I I wanted to call. I wanted to just try to get to him. I want to re raise. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll, to I'll that. take that bet. I want. I would guarantee a five hundred dollars. I'll give you fifteen hundred. You give me just five. I'll guarantee that five hundred dollars. We get even better for him. So if Robert Meyer Burnett sees this, please go back to the tape where you said this. <laughs> because it is ridiculous. I think that was when I was like sort of leaning. I said, I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> but let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, Aquaman 2. When you go to the theaters, please let us know. If you go, dare I say, to the theaters to see Aquaman 2. And if you enjoy it, I want to know why you enjoyed it. Don't tell me it was good. I had fun. That doesn't work. We'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on! Yeah!